Welcome back to standing in a room with Jeff. No, I mean Wu Tang. What's the name of this? Do you even know what it is anymore? Uh, it is the, m- m- the m- hiding under a bed simulator. M- m- <laughs> t- <laughs> Tony, we need to say professionalism. Oh, oh, uh, Metal Gear Solid Three Subsistence HD no. Remake no. Remastered. You're missing the point. <laughs> what is the video called? It is the Metal Gear. The Metal Gear. Re- oh, God. Revengeance. Re- God, <laughs> Recollection. <laughs> Welcome back to the Metal Gear Recollection. This is part 12. We're going to be making our way into the... Oh! There's a dude! There's a flame man. Look at... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, I fucked that one right up. No oh, shit! Oh shit! I'm really fucking this up. Fuck this. I'm Run. out. Run! Run! I'm out. I'm burning Stop to death. Roll. Okay. Ah. Uh. Ow. Woo! <laughs> fucking gameplay bullshit. That's a burn. You got ointment? You got ointment for that burn? Yeah, I got ointment for that burn. That's not really my concern at this point. My concern is getting through here with the sliver of life that I have. Jesus. This is gonna make this upcoming sec- Fucking goddamn, this shit's just falling apart. It, it, slowly descending into madness. The last time I ever start recording first thing in the fucking morning. <laughs> Ass. Grenada. Okay, so here we are. We're making our way into the into the base. Mm-hmm. Um, we're gonna come in here and do some stuff, and everybody's gonna have a good time. And there's gonna be lots of turtles. Whoa, that frame rate dropped though. It there was. Yeah. I didn't see one. No. All right, we need to. Hey, you got more ointment. We need the life like, up here. It's like them telling you you needed to use that ointment for a burn that you were eventually gonna get. That is correct, sir. Why can't I? Oh yeah, there's a thing over here. Don't fall. I'm not gonna fall. I'm too good for that. That would be terrible. Talk shit, get hit. When's the last time you saved? Um, the last time we did a thing. Oh, okay. Let's grab. Oh, it's a battery. I guess. I wonder if that'll come in handy here anytime soon. Ever. Oh, we need to eat food too. Our stamina ass is going down. You know why our stamina is going down so quickly? It's because I'm carrying so much shit. So oh, is that really a thing? Yeah, obviously you have you have this stuff. It's pretty dark in here. I'm going to put on my night vision goggles. Obviously you have the stuff that's in your backpack, and that doesn't affect what, what's going on in your game. However, uh, where is Oh, it? Where you is mean it? what's it? actually in your inventory yeah, when you Yeah, what you it have out. in your inventory is considered stuff that you are, are actively carrying. Um, oh. And so the more that you're carrying... <clears throat> excuse me. The more that you're carrying... M63, fuck it, why not? Um, Interesting. Where was I going with this? The more that you're carrying, the heavier the amount of stuff, the total weight up there in the top right corner, and it makes your stamina go down faster. Let's eat the snake eater. Ah, uh, Inception! Arm, 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 dot, dot, dot. Da, 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 da. Uh, dot. Oh yeah, our vampire vats are still here from our failure in the last fucking video. And so's our cannibal vulture. Great. And I didn't <laughs> equip the fucking shit in the backpack, so this is bad for me. Uh, thermal goggles, night vision goggles. Here we go. So I've been using the thermal goggles for the majority of this because it allows you to see items and stuff like that, but we don't really need that here. It's just really dark, so we need to use night vision goggles. Yeah, and look at that massive freaking thing. The just... massive... Oh, yeah, these are like old-school night vision yeah. goggles. This is like the origin of the equipment. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, oh, shit. I didn't change my equipment. Yeah, you can see it right there. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, uh, wow. Oh, that's cool that they showed it with the night vision in first person since I'm wearing that. That is really cool. That is pretty neat. The, the... Oh, and this is a boss battle, isn't it? Uh, Yes wonder who it is it's see we've had the fear the end it's the, uh, it's the, the boss's horse oh god so this is actually a really really cool boss fight it's oh god jesus 
Good thing he turned away looking through those night vision goggles. That's enough to blind you. So look at this fucking cartoon character. This look, cosmonaut looking motherfucker. Look at this G.I. Joe ass cartoon character. Look at this cool bar looking motherfucker. Look at him setting all the bats on fire. Or attempting to. That's a little bit of characterization. Eh. He doesn't like bats. He doesn't like things that are fly. Because he don't get to fly no more. Even though he's got a goddamn jetpack attached to him. So this guy, this guy's angry. This guy's parents asked him to take out the trash when he was listening to his shitty Linkin Park CDs. And he was like, no, mom, you don't understand. And that's his whole character. Spaceship swag. It's a pretty cool design. It just like, like, and it's cool that there's a flamethrower fight. And it's cool that he's using jet fuel as his flamethrower fuel. And stuff. Mm, what I don't are you think gonna it's do? a Look good idea. I don't think it's a good idea at either, but from a... Oh, God! <laughs> it's so blown out! <laughs> and Snake's just like, Ah, how will I knife my way out of this one? It would have been worse if you were using the thermal goggles. Uh, you're right. Ah, uh, shit, we need to get out of here. Okay, so this boss fight is... This super cool boss fight in the darkness against this guy... And of course we can't hit him. Of course. Uh, here we go. Ooh. There we go. I'm not that worried. That looks cool. I'm not. Oh, and I'm on fire. Oh, no. You better get that ointment. Bruh. I'm actually not. I don't have a serious burn from that, surprisingly. Even though he pretty much shot me with napalm. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. Fuck it up, man. We need to get away from that from that dashing gent. Oh shit! Did he yep. fucking fly around? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Oh fucking god! Damn it! How am I not getting burnt from this? You oh, know, I what? shot him off the thing. Oh, there's. A Holy burn. shit! Oh god, I'm just in the burning flame area. Shit! You're just in it now. You're just a part of it. Man, I'm not gonna make it through this fucking boss fight. I had to use all my all my cures from the last screw up I had. Right, let's just bury some ointment in here and bandage it up really quick. Do it. Quickly, quickly, quick, quick, quick. Fuck it. We're using the M63. Are you also, sure? I really, really need to change my camouflage for this. But it's part of the reason he was able to find me so fast. Oh, uh, you're going straight black. I'm going black. <laughs> I'm going black, black. Actually, I'm going to use splitter here. Because splitter works well in the black environments. But it also works well when it gets lit up as well. So he's, he's around here somewhere. And the new, um, yeah, we got him. Blah, blah. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> you see all that damage it does? God damn. The, um, oh, damn it. I keep forgetting. Oh, I can't. You, you can use those as batteries. That is correct, sir. They do refill your battery because Snake is a crazy person. Yeah, Shoot fuck him. you. Fuck your couch. This is going pretty well. Now it's going well. We've ripped his suit. Basically, if you take this slowly or use tranquilizers to try and fight this guy, he gets to a point. He gets to a point where he's just running around firing wildly. Like yeah, he is right there. There he is. He's flying around. You see that? And it takes forever to kill. Yeah, him. I got him with the explosion. So shit. Yay! No retrying this boss fight. Like mine. So as how he... many times did I retry? Dude, it took three. It took three forty-minute parts. God it took damn. you three 40 minute parts and I had to grab the controller in the end and I got him in one try. Yeah, you fucking asshole. Hey, I'm sorry. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I played this game quite a bit. So. Uh, I've probably beaten this game 50 times. Oh, God. Probably. Flames everywhere. So he's just immolating himself. But um, the shit gets super weird here soon. Because first of all, he's sucking in all the flames because he's angry. I wonder if there wasn't something inside of his suit that's causing all the flame to get sucked in. Like if it wasn't pure oxygen in there, which burns a lot faster. Mm. Um, but yeah, we're going to go straight into paranormal shit here very soon. Because he turns into a burning effigy of an angry ghost demon face. And flies at you. Like something out of Lord of the Rings. 
Oh god! So cool idea for a boss fight, but as you can see, I mean, granted I'm on normal, but I've, made, I've been able to blow through these normal boss fights so quickly. Oh, and that's another thing. My shit was on hard. Your shit was on hard, I, yeah. I, I'm not taking anything away from you by saying it took three parts. I'm just saying from a game, from a, a let's play standpoint it is not very terrible. Good. Look at this angry face flying through the air. What the fuck? Look at this shit. Look, there's angry face man. Going, the... ah! God. Like some shit out of the devil may cry. You... He screams, the the devil may cry. Yeah. Dude, I retroactively love four with the special edition that got released with Virgil in it. It's just, it's a better game. Mm. Like they really made it awesome. What about Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry? Uh, from, it's still, it's not a Devil May Cry game. It's a fucking beat -em up game. Yeah. But it gets really close, but then there's some really stupid shit that goes on in it. So, we have just beaten the furry. Not the fury. Furry. Like furry force! Monsters. Bandages. But if I they give me bandages, give me fucking life meds, you assholes. I need it. <laughs> so uh, here we are. We're about to come out into the uh, the next major area of this game. Ooh. Don't need that. Mm -hmm. Not going to equip the AK. Mark 22 and M1911 kind of work. Uh, I won't need the so RPG. much trade. I need an AK. So much. Oh, god damn it. Not that thing anymore. That dumb shit I used to say. <laughs> okay, what am I looking for? What am I doing? I think we're good. I think we have all the things we're gonna need. I don't need the night vision goggles anymore. I guess I'll re-equip the thermals. Mm. Bug juice. Don't need any of this. Um, shit, face paint. God damn it. Sorry, guys. Just bear with me while I... while I... Do stuff. Stumble my way through this fucking... through this shit. Bullshit. Is there a train pulling into your house? No, it's a jet. It's a jet? Yeah. Good lord, it is extremely loud. I hope it doesn't get picked up on your audio. It probably will. Dude, it's almost louder than you. Are you serious? Yeah. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. I apologize to all the people. I'm just gonna cut Tony out of this video completely. It's fine. You were just holding me back anyways. Okay, now I completely lost Tony. Hello? No, you didn't. I put it on mute. Oh. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay, well, here we are. And in, it's gone. Here we are in Grasnigrad. Grasnigrad! There's a bunch of... Like, once you get to this base, it seems relatively small compared to other bases you've infiltrated in other games. However, there's so many. There's so many Easter eggs, and there's so many things inside of this. This is a very densely packed uh, area, and it's very cool. It's a very cool uh, part of the game. <laughs> Don't you know? Part of the game. Yeah, girl. Okay, so here we are. There's a bunch of shit going on in this area. Mm -hmm. A bunch of important shit. A lot of dudes, too. There are a lot of dudes. The good news is I have a silenced uber weapon in this M16 that will help me hopefully yes. nearly effortlessly make our way through the area. However, there is also a bunch of Easter eggs, a bunch of uh, cool shit like that we won't be watching. Oh, Come God. on. I, have to, I literally have to hold down every shoulder button to make that shot. Not good. It's kind of rough, but that's okay. Mm. I know there's there's some... Like, there's a camouflage around here somewhere. That I gotta find. And I'm pretty sure it's right in this area. <clears throat> Indeed. So, we're not gonna spend... We're going to attempt not to spend uh, too much time in the outer part of Grozny Gred. Because a lot of stuff is gonna happen once we get inside. Uh, hey! That's both important to the story, and I can climb up there. What's the point of that? There's nothing up there. Anyways, there's a bunch of stuff that's both important to the story and important to uh, the LP as a whole. So we're going to try and do our best to get through this area as ex ex expeditively. Words. 
Yeah, seriously, I'm having trouble talking right now. <laughs> I don't know. As expeditiously, there's the word. Yay, grammar. Gram. So there's another man right there. There's a man. There's a dude. Tony, there's a guy. <laughs> However, his soul has left his body, so I am no longer concerned with that guy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Just doing a quick perimeter sweep. I don't want to run up the middle and be seen by every peripheral motherfucker that exists here. That would not be a good way to... Why not? That's how I did it. That's how Jesus does it. No, Jesus has nothing to do with the Metal Gear. <laughs> Damn! Is there anything else? I don't know. Nope, don't see anything. Let's continue on through here. Booty. This is by no means the uh, fastest, bestest way to get through things. Hmm. Okay. Um, however, if I remember correctly, it is the safest. The safest? Yes. And I know there's like a dog here. Yeah, there's a dog here. That, doggy, doggy. That would cause problems for us later if we don't worry about him now. These are the tanks I was talking about. The big, huge, giant tanks that mm. run on four treads. They don't look very big. Yeah, I don't think they captured the scale very well for the game here. No. Pop, pop. Yo, Take out a dog. Oh shit, dog. Oh, he's coming! He's coming! <laughs> okay, so that guy. You got lucky. That guy noticed I did something. Oh, he's going to look for the dag. Dag. He's going for the dag. Dag. We're going to grab this guy and we're going to pump him for information. Pump him. Pump him. Oh shit! Okay, come here, you fucking dick face. You stupid fucker. Come here, you stupid fucker. Hey, you talk, talk to me. Tell me about planes. Sokolov is in the West Wing. The... Why are we Why are we devolving into accents here? I don't know. I don't know either. Dogs <laughs> that are used to be my of, thing. Dogs are afraid of fire. So if we run into dogs at some point in the future, I'm going to whip out the torch and hit them with the torch. Oh, you still have the torch. That's right. I do have the torch. That is right. You are correct, sir. Ah, uh, correct. Bitch. Okay, so where is that? That's up there. Yes. I don't know if there's a guy associated with that. Uh, there's a guy mm. right over there we can take care of right now. Kill him. Do it. All right. Do it. Pa. There we go. We took care of him, and it didn't wake the dog up. Pretty good. Oh, dude. Oh, spotlights! You know what? We, what? we didn't need to go this way. God damn it, I'm wasting so much time! Oh my god. Uh, we'll make this it's all on you now. We'll make this episode a little bit longer than, than usual. Usual, -el. usual. Unless you make up for time. By murdering everyone. How would you suggest I do that? Actually, no, By we didn't murdering... need to go through here because this is the this is the, the ultimate area where we wanted to get to. Can you go through the front? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. How am I missing him? <laughs> there we go. He's, he doesn't even hear, like, the whiz bangs of the goddamn rounds hitting uh, up, like, uh, to his sides. Apparently. <coughs> okay, so we need to make our way around there. And I know there's more guys around here, so... Yes, I do know that, and yes, that is a concern for me. And that is not the door we need to go to. The door we need to go to is right over here. Where there is another man. Uh oh. Oh shit. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. I'm gonna do my best. You must be He's seeing things. things. Yes, if you want to live, you've been seeing things. That is correct. Alright, if he if he scopes me here, that's fine. Scopes you? Will. Yep, you heard me. <laughs> okay, he's down, and his buddy didn't see it. Which means hop, hop. I now have the opportunity to remove that man from the equation. I believe there nice. Might, there might be one more guy right there. Nope, I'm not seeing him. So now we are infiltrating the actual Grozny Grad Super Base Lab townhouse. So you made it for some time. Yeah, we've done pretty well. 
And now that we're here, this area is a clusterfuck of immense proportions. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to take off all our clothes and rub ourselves against other... No, nope. we're going to take off our clothes and... Damn it, you were exciting me for nothing. This is... This is a, a research lab. So mm -hmm. oh, I should equip the, uh, the the cigarette stuff, too, while I'm in here. The cigar Just gas Just to break. be safe. And I could probably show off the handkerchief, but I'm not too worried about it. Mm. Um, there's a weapon in here I'm interested in getting, but in the interest of time, I'm not going to really worry about it. Although I think this guy so, just opened the door to... Which one was it? Okay, that guy's down. Uh, there's a scorpion in uh, one of these. Oh. Guys, remember? Yeah, that's right. The which tiny is, little thing. Yes, it is a submachine gun, but it is a submachine gun that is unique in the fact that it has a laser pointer. Hmm. Okay, so here's a giant handicapped accessible toilet. Which is great. 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 Okay, oh. Nope, I do not want to deal with that. These guys can cause a lot of treble. A lot of treble. A lot of treble. Not trouble, mind you, treble. Get him. Papa. Is he the only scientist in here? God, I hope so. Yeah, I think so. Good. Looks like it. Good, good. And is that the only item in here is a book? Yeah, from the looks of it. Okay, there's another guy. I'll take care of him. So at this point, we're in here attempting to get to Rydan. Uh, Major Rykov, to be more precise. Let's see, is there life medicine in here? That would be that would be nice to get some life medicine. Um, because we need to dress up as him. Okay, here we go. This is not him, obviously, because Ry yep. uh, Rykov had the uh, the long hair. But this is the area where the uh, the scorpion is. Rykov. And so you're gonna go get it. Am I gonna go get what? You're gonna go get the the, the scorpion. Uh, I just did. Oh. But anyways, where was I going with that? <clears throat> Be it just. Are you Mr. Rykov? Mr. Raidanovich. Raidan. He's wandering around this area somewhere, and it would be mm -hmm. it would be ideal if he was just like right here, because this is where we need to drag his butt. Call. What you got? What you got for me, girl? Hey, girl. Can't Twelve be things. Murdered by normal means. Apparently, it operates by responding to a specific radio frequency. Frack. If you want to know the key frequency, why don't you try asking someone nearby? Oh, that's another interesting thing about this game. Um, mm. For the longest time, the codec in these games, the only purpose of... Hey, pretty lady. Oh. <laughs> the only purpose of the codec was to call people to ask for help and stuff like that, which is pretty neat. It's a pretty it's pretty neat from a gameplay perspective, but mm -hmm. I mean by this point in the in time it was getting kind of stale. Um, right. <clears throat> excuse me. It was getting a little bit stale, and that's not. Uh, where the fuck is this guy? He's pro he's probably up on the second floor hiding in one of the rooms. And when I say mm. hiding, I don't actually mean hiding, but you know. Um, Did you get the but, sneaking suit? Uh, no, that doesn't come till later. Oh. Okay, here's, oh, a, shit. here's a room full of guys so I am not many. going to fuck with. But I am going to scope out the room for uh, Major Rykov, which it doesn't seem that he's in here. Okay. It's annoying. Which means he's floating around downstairs somewhere. And I've just completely missed him several times. Fuck. Which is extremely annoying. But uh, back to the codec thing. In this game, um, there are radio stations you can listen to. Um, there are there are codec calls that you can make that would call for like artillery bombardment and stuff like that. There's a ton of cool stuff you can do with the codec in this game. The radio. And? The radio is cool because it's called it's called healing radio. Yeah, I was just about to mention that too. Yeah, so you can. There's the motherfucker. Hey, where are you going, asshole? Hey, hey, bitch. Hey, hey. Come on, go up the stairs. I like Do it. Like, we have the guy here. Perfect. He's going up the stairs. That'll make it easier. So, we have the guy here. Yep. Um, and once we knock him out, we basically have to drag him up to that room to get him naked. Because why not? No, we steal his clothes. So, obviously, we gotta, you know. Yeah. We're not just so... duplicating his clothes. This isn't the Mission Impossibles. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> in, out, in, out, in, out. 
now that I've got him here, I'm pretty comfortable with just knocking his ass out and then dragging him from here. Because we've also we... we've also taken care of the majority of the guards in the process of uh, grabbing this fuke and getting him onto this area. So, yeah, let's just hope they don't wake up. Uh, well, even soon. even if they do, they're not going to get up here fast enough in order to cause any problems for me. So pretty much at this point, I've uh, I've won the area, and without any without any alarms, hooray! I think you did it without alarms the first time too. If you do, yeah, I think so. If you do get it with alarms, he goes and hides in that big fucking toilet area, and it's super annoying. So annoying. Because first you have to clear the first you have to clear the thing, and then there's extra enemies, and they remain in the area if I remember correctly. After you after you uh, uh, get out of your alert phase, mm. um, and then you still have to get the guy. Who's he's wearing a speedo. He's wearing a speedo, and we're grabbing his titties, and we're putting him here in here. Now, if you looked on the wall there, there's a picture of a character from another game, it's, which, you know, hammering the thought home that that's that asshole. So now we have the Rydanovich clothings. Um, hooray. <laughs> so now we can dress up as him and uh, go around and fuck with people. So the interesting thing about the the interesting thing about the major Rykov clothing is, um, in the game canon, he's a bit of an asshole. So if you go around beating the shit out of people dressed up as him, they just they're like, oh no, not him. <laughs> well, Gregory's sticking out. That is correct, sir. <laughs> Ivanovich, where did you get where did you get Arrow? I got Arrow. Is it still there? Oh shit, it is still there. Oh, that's kind of a big deal. Okay, so we can't go in there yet because we don't have the key, and also we don't have the stuff. But if you look in there, there's the damn Shagohod right there. 